What's up everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how can we easily create YouTube logo on Canva. So here we are on our YouTube channel. Firstly, let's go to customize channel folder and from this page we're going to branding folder. And here as you can see we have the option to change our picture and of course we have like Canva here. But what do we need to know is that it's recommended to use a picture that at least like 98 to 98 pixels and uh, 4 megabyte or less so the most important thing is that this picture should be squared use a png or g file make sure your picture follows the youtube community guidelines so this logo was also created on canva and i have this project right up here but today i want to change something in the same style but let's start creating so here we are on canva.com firstly you'll have to log in and now let's click on create a design and I'd like to use uh, Instagram post uh, template because it's like squared and it's a high, uh, high quality. So let's click and we'll create a like, empty project here. And let's have a quick tour. Basically, we can easily choose one of the templates on the design area. So as you can see, they have a lot of them. For example, this one is pretty cool if you want to delete something and use only like background. We have elements where we can add different stuff. Brand Hub, we're branding uploads from this page here. We can easily interact with our files, text, draw option if we want to draw something, projects with all of our projects, of course, and apps. So the first step I wanted to do is that I wanted to change the background. So let's click on our empty frame. And here in the left top corner, I'm going to use background uh, color feature. And as you can see, we can change a lot of different stuff here, but I have like some template gradients and I want to use uh, one of them, maybe this one here. I think it's pretty cool. And the next step I wanted to do is that I want to add my channel name to our logo. So let's try to find something suitable as for us, some maybe our text templates. I think this one is pretty cool basically. So I'm going to add two of them. And the first line there will be like a helper because my name is like, and the name of my channel is like Helperman. And here I'm going to add like man. And the same thing, what I wanted to do is that I want to make them at least maybe at the same uh, width. So let it be like this. I'm going to increase the size and paste them somewhere in the center. So as you can see, we have like these purple uh, lines appears, which helps us to centralize and make it like uh, stay in the center position. So let it be like this, for example. And the next thing I want to add this guy here. So as you can see, it's like it depends on our channel, of course, but it performs that I am creating this video. So let's go to elements and uh, we can try to find something suitable as for us on this page. But I have like some on recently used. So I'm going to use this guy here. And as you can see, he's like, uh, we need to change the layer older. So let's click on more. Let's go to a layer and I'm going to use like bring to front. So it's now it's in front of the text. I think it's more like it's better to view it like this. And uh, the next thing I wanted to add, I wanted to add like some details uh, with the tutorial stuff because my channel is like primary about tutorials. So I'm going to go to elements, search elements. And here I'd like to add like study or something like this. So let's try to find some graphics area we can easily uh, add. So we can discover something which is suitable. I think we can add this part here. We can add this girl. And uh, they're looking like pretty cool. So let's decrease the size. Also, I want to add something, something more, maybe, maybe, maybe let's try to find something. I think this globe could be suitable as for us. And also one more thing, let's try to find. So, 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 so let it be, let it be something suitable in the same design basically I don't want to change the theme so let it be this girl 
So yeah, now we need to change their size, make it less. And I wanted to place them somewhere here, basically. So let's flip this. Let's click flip and flip horizontal. And I'm going to paste uh, this girl right up here. This globe right up here. And these books right up here. Also, I want to add some more stuff. Maybe I'd like to add the subscribe button. Or let's try to add it on our channel and then we'll look how does it look like. So let's try to download. File type PNG, download. And in a few seconds, basically everything is done. So now we can just simply go to our YouTube studio, click on change. And I'm going to use this template here. And as you can see now, our logo looks like this. So we can simply try to decrease the size, make it centralized. And let's click on done. And now it looks like this. I want to change the miniature a little bit. So I'm going to decrease, use this one here, decrease. And I want to place this guy, the main guy, in the center. I think it's important. So let it be like this. Let's click on done. And now it looks like this. Let's click on uh, publish. It's very important because without this publish feature, it won't work. And in a few seconds, our channel logo was successfully uploaded. So let's click on view channel. And now it looks like this. And in like together with our YouTube banner, we created in a previous video. Uh, I think it looks pretty cool. So let's go back to our project. And from this page here, I'm just going to click on the home. And as you can see, our project was successfully saved. So now uh, we can easily customize it a little bit later. So it should be somewhere here. Uh, yes. And we can easily customize it a little bit later. So this is a way basically of how can we create our channel logo on Canva. I hope guys this video helped you out. If you want to find tutorial about how can we easily create a YouTube banner on Canva, you can uh, try to find my previous video. I'll try to create a playlist and it should appear somewhere here. But basically, yeah, this is a way of how can we interact with Canva to create YouTube stuff. Hope guys this video helped you out. Please leave a like, comment and subscribe. If you have any questions, you can write them in the comments below. I wish you a very good day and goodbye.